Ih, aqui, vou pegar ali. Like, subscribe, share, please. Hey guys, it's Bradley with Simple Living Bluegrass. I'm just now getting over kind of a, a cold, I guess. I had to go to the doctor and they told me I had a. That was Remy. Uh, they told me I had a, a acute bronchitis and a, a sinus infection. I'm sure you can tell by my, by my voice. And uh, my allergies were getting me. And it put me on my butt for about, well, pretty much the day. I, it was Thursday morning, I decided to go to the doctor. They gave me an antibiotic. And uh, it was just like an infection field or something. But uh, give me that, and my allergy medicine, and something else. I've been taking it Thursday and Friday. I didn't feel like doing anything. I just kind of... Daddy, what? Like the puppy. Well, I think he just ruined the surprise, but... Uh, we, uh, I had to go run a couple of errands this morning. So, I'm just now getting where I feel like doing anything. But uh, I had to go run a couple of errands this morning. Me and my wife, she was off today, and both my boys. And, uh... I'm gonna tell y'all what we're doing. Oh, lost my train of thought. Uh, where did we go? Oh yeah. First, we, we was on the way in the town. I had to run to the to the uh, store and get a couple bags of chick feed. Why didn't make it to the mar or to the feed mill I usually go to? Cause they close at twelve. So I didn't make it there. And uh, we stopped at the at the farmer's market on the square in our town and uh we got a dozen of sweet corn uh i think five or six tomatoes we got red and yellow and then we got something else oh i got another bar of the little llama uh fiber soap some good stuff i'm telling you that lady she knows what she's doing but got some of that and uh or something else we got oh yeah remy got a got a pretty dang good with cinnamon roll and uh, I got some jerky that's pretty good. I think that may have been it. Corn, tomatoes. If I remember, I'll, I'll, if I remember I'll tell you, but uh, I was also going to tell y'all uh, the garden is no more. I don't remember if I told y'all that or not, but our dog, he got a up the other day. Bring him over here. Hey! Bubba, bring him here! But, or no, he got tore up the other day because of the fireworks. I guess he decided to eat the whole garden. So it's gone. No more garden. It just puts a fire under me for next year. I'm going to try to grow a really nice garden. And I'm going to turn the dog's uh, electric thing down to where uh, he can't get to it. But uh, he's on one of them. But we live on three acres here but uh our dog can run on like i don't know how big a spot he run but it's pretty big he's on one of them electric fields it don't shock him so i don't think that but uh well i guess it would if he stayed over the line too long when he gets the line it starts being a tee -tee 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 -tee. then after like the 12th beat they'll shock him and i can only think of one time it shocked him and that was the day i put it on him <laughs> He was probably six months old whenever we put it on him. My wife got for me for Christmas one year. I've been asking for him for forever. And he's the best bunny I've ever, well, best bunny she ever seen on me. And uh, he's an Australian Shepherd. And I know y'all seen him. I have no clue where he's at right now. I guess he's in the barn with my son. But, uh. uh still feel pretty weak. <clears throat> I had to go do that today, and then uh, a couple weeks ago, after work, after I got off work, I uh, drove by my mom and dad's house, and uh, the neighbors, they know real big buddies. I go up there every time I go by my mom and dad's, holler at them for a few, and sit there up there too. But they had a litter of puppies born, 
and uh, we uh, they wanted the boys to have one, so we got one. And this puppy's birthday is the same day as my oldest son's birthday, and uh, uh, he looks identical to the first blue healer I ever had. I mean, looks just like him. I wish I had a picture of him. And uh, my son picked out the name, and the name he picked out was that dog's name, and I've never told him that. I just thought it was kind of wild that it happened like that. But uh, I'm going to show y'all uh, show y'all the little puppy. His name is Diesel. The boy, the oldest boy's name. He's actually supposed to be the middle, like the youngest son's dog, so those ones already got one. But y'all know how it works. Yeah, it's probably just gonna be the puppy. I, I ain't really got much to say. But, uh, I might say all the goats or something. But, uh, y'all just stay tuned. Alright, guys, this right here is Diesel. This is our new puppy. He's a blue healer. Uh, he is six weeks old. He is the cutest little fella I've ever seen in my life. But, uh, He's as smart as a pack, and his mom is kind of, I mean, but uh, he's going to have a little blue spot right here at the top of his ear, but uh, he's turning six weeks out, I'm going to give him a shot, warm him tomorrow, we're going to run to the store, I should got the while I was there, but I kind of forgot about it. Daddy, why are you taking me so much? Why are you asking all those questions, boy? But uh, he is dirty. He's gonna have a bath there. But he come right off the farm, so I mean that's what to expect. They've got four pups left. Uh, I got this, and and the one I'd actually pick out before I seen this one was a female. And another friend of mine ended up getting her. And uh, we got this guy because he looked just like that one I had. Like I said, the boys or. I was just went with me to get him. And, uh, he, uh, he just had a bit over him when he seen him. But, uh, he is the best addition to our little family. And now we have three dogs. We have Rusty, the Australian Shepherd. We have Dave, the Great Pyrenees, but I'm sure people understand he's a livestock guardian dog, so he has a job. Job is to be with the goats. I mean, you know, I mean, I'm gonna love on him every once in a while, but he ain't a pet. He is, he's part of the staff here, I guess you can call it. He's the, he's the non paid help. But uh, we got dude, we got Rusty the Australian champion. Alright, guys, I keep losing you. Uh, phone keeps shutting off, so I don't know what's going on with it. I mean, to be honest with you, it's probably where I've got. All these videos and stuff were saved on my phone hanging in the room. But my I just decided to take the puppy for a ride on those little power wheels. So they're out taking a cruise. And my phone shut off during the video with the puppy, so I don't know what all I got there, but hopefully it was enough to enough to for y'all to watch. But um We're pretty excited about the new little puppy and I'm sure y'all be seeing him more in videos for me because as soon as he gets big enough to go on this collar thing like uh, what Rusty's on, then he'll be on it too and they can run around out here in the driveway in the yard. But 
keep an eye on the boys and make sure they're all right. But uh, and y'all see Duke, cause he'll be with the goats. And Rusty, he's all the time in the video. He just magically appears. He's a kind of like Houdini. You never know where you're gonna find him. <laughs> um, just keep liking all of our videos and uh, giving us some views. Yeah, it looks like he's having fun. But uh. Yeah. Looks, like a, looks like a belt off a lawnmower. I don't know, belt from under your razor. A ranger, wherever it is. But, uh, I know y'all probably don't care for me rambling. And, uh, that's fine, I guess. But, um, alright, see him out there. Let him run around. He has to have a bath this week. <laughs> he farted. Yeah. Well, I'm sure he did. Wait, yeah. He probably didn't play no more dog. But, uh, I don't like dancing all the time. Hey, but, uh, y'all just keep watching our videos and like, subscribe, share, please. I plan to have I plan to have some more content out here soon. I got some stuff I got yeah. I got some stuff I gotta do with the goats. And uh, uh I got something else. I'm gonna film a video with my turkeys here soon. And uh I'm just a uh, what not to do kind of video. I'll go ahead and tell you this. I started with ten and I have four. And I'll explain why. It wouldn't I, I was told a certain way to do it because I've only raised turkeys three times in my life. And uh, one time it was done grown. Uh, well, it wasn't grown, but I had a, I bought a grown pair one time. And the second time I bought some that were done like two or three months old. And then the third time I had a turkey that had a couple babies. She raised them, so I didn't have no problem there. This is the first time I've ever brooded turkeys myself. Well. My boy, he helps me do everything, so. Me and him, it's the first time we've ever done it together. And uh, I just had some very bad luck like the second day we had them. And, but thank God the lady that I got them from, she was sweet as could be. Helped me out, listened to all the problems. And I thank the world of her and we will be doing more business with her. I mean, I ain't so upset, I know stuff happens. And I believe it was because of a, well, I'll tell you all that in the video, but. Uh, we tried our hardest, and then just went in our cards to have 10 turkeys, so we got four. And, uh, I will, uh, get a video made of that. And that lady, she is from, uh, well, she said you're interested in some turkeys and you live local, I'll get you in touch with her, but I ain't gonna just throw her name out here. Just, I don't know how she'd feel about that, but she is, she is a very good woman, good person to do business with. I know she raises a different, bunch of different kind of orphans and chickens and guineas and She's got a couple of varieties of them and all kinds of different turkeys. But um, besides you're looking for some next spring, you give me a holler and I'll get you in touch with her. But uh, thank y'all for watching and we'll uh, keep it coming out. I'm going to try to get this one out today or tomorrow. I don't know. Depending on how I get the feeling here after a while. I'm sure after I get done feeding and watering, I'll feel pretty rough. So Y'all have a good one. Thank y'all for watching.